So in this video, I want to show you guys what the Zen Estimate Steel 2022 uh, QTO or Quantity Takeoff Profile does, how it works, what it can do, and how it's going to benefit your business and your processes. So first, I'm going to show you guys how to load it. You're just going to go in, you're going to go up to the Review Profile after you've installed Zen Estimate Steel. Right? And you're just going to go to Profiles, and you're going to select the Zen Estimate Steel QTO Profile. That's going to load up all the tools that you need. You can see that it's going to bring up all of our standard tool sets, right? 2,000 plus items. And you'll also have all of your standard columns and data ready here to work with. But what I'm going to do here is, you know, I've got kind of an example plan here on the side. And I'm just going to go down to our HSS Square uh, setup here. Right? And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to grab a couple of these sizes. So you see we've got some five by five by quarter inch uh, columns that we're working with. So I can just go in very, very easily, select the size that I want, right? There's my square five by five in a column condition. And I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna drop them right here on my screen where they go. I'm just gonna real quick throw in four of them. Not a problem, quick, easy to use. And right? you can see that we've got some six by six by three sixteenths beams below it. Not a problem, just gonna real quickly go down to this six by six in a beam condition. Right? And you see that I can easily just zoom in, make sure I'm going from you know center of column all right, pan over to the next column right in here. All right, I'm going to double click there. Then I'm just going to continue running it from that beam over to here. Then from here over to the next one. And we'll call that good enough for today. So very easy. I can quickly go in, do all my takeoffs or whatever items I need. And again, we've got thousands of items to work with. But what I want to show you now is how we can you know, use the custom column data to work with for our quantity takeoff. So for starters, you see that everything is labeled subject and label. It's giving me counts, linear footage counts of everything. And the first thing I can do here is I'm going to set my size or weight in my quantity takeoff. This is really geared around using uh, overall weight for ordering and pricing, getting general material costs for your project here. All right, so you see this came in by default as five by five by three sixteenths. Well, this is actually a quarter inch. I can just click here and you see I've got all of the different sizes and thicknesses available. So I can switch this to a five by five by quarter. And when I do that, what I want you guys to watch over here is the total weight and the total tonnage. Now you see when I switch it, all those numbers are instantly recalculating. Same thing down here, right? We, we've got the six by six by three sixteenths. Well, that's actually what we wanted. So good. I don't need to change any of those. But if it was a different thickness, I can easily switch it to quarter, five sixteenths, half, five eighth, whatever I need it and all these numbers would instantly recalculate. It makes your life really, really easy. Now we've got a lot of other features going on in here, right? Just kind of working our way left to right. You see that for our columns in particular, we can set column heights. By default, our columns come in at 10 foot, but maybe it's a 12 foot high column. When I do that, again, watch the total poundage. With a 12 foot length, there's our total poundage, there's our total tonnage. We can go in and, and for example, if we got a call out for something like C3 you know, on S3.1, I can easily put in any related call out section markers that I need for reference on each one of these items, no problem. I can even apply a connection weight percentage. It's a pretty common thing for us that uh, when we're doing a, a bulk calculation like this in QTO, that we wanna just put in you know, kind of a general percentage of uh, weight for you know uh, beam, moment connections, welded connections, and so on. So we can just go in and put you know, 0.03 for that. And you see it's calculating an additional 3% in the weight. I can also go in here and I can apply Condition adjustments. So I've got scale factors here for when I'm working in, in high stories, right? If I have to store the steel a, a great distance, I have to boom it in. I can actually adjust for those. And those will adjust my pricing as I work over here. So if I go in and say, hey, that's going to be uh, 18 to 21 feet up, it's going to give me a 25% multiplier. I can go in and put in a price per ton. So I'll say we're running 460 a ton. And you can see that my base cost is calculated. My base cost is without the condition adjustment, right? So if I have no condition adjustment, I, my base cost and my total cost will match up. But with a condition adjustment, as I change it, maybe that's 21 stories up, you see that your total cost is gonna be updated. So it's a very simple, very easy way to be able to go in and apply all of the data that you need for a true quantity takeoff for your structural steel tools. Um, and I do wanna show you guys just a couple of other things, just so you're aware. You can also work with, I've been working in a markups list, but all of your, your property uh, columns as you work, you see that all of this information can be handled down here. So if you guys don't want to work on that, you want to work on the side panel, you can add in all of the data over there. And once this is done, I can actually go in and with our tool set, we can go in and we can sort and structure 
our output the way that we want here very easily with Zen Estimate Steel. I can just come in here and sort. Right now it's sorting by subjects, but I can easily sort this by labels so that I can go in and I can see exactly how many six by six beams, how many five by five columns. I can sort by weights, measurements, anything at all that I want just by clicking on any of these fields. And then I can easily go in and just export this out to a CSV. Push this out to a standard CSV file, opens in Excel and you see just like that, I've got a full complete takeoff, right, including all of my cost items. And just so you guys are aware, this fully integrates with the Bluebeam Extreme quantity linking. Right? So if you wanna go in and you can actively go in here right click in, in your own standard Excel takeoff sheet and create quantity links to all of our standard Zen Estimate Steel tools for counts and lengths and so on. Really, really versatile for general overall quantity takeoff systems. Zen Estimate Steel 2022, everything you need for your QTL.